What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy and today I'm bringing you all a little mini Beyonce haul. I've got some things from the new Ivy Park Drip 2 as well as a couple things I picked up from the Blackest King collection from Beyonce.com. So let's get started. So to get started, I'm just going to run through the Blackest King collection stuff I bought really quickly because I know we're here for the Ivy Park Drip 2, so this is not going to take long. So basically, Beyonce released the film Blackest King um, July 31st, 2020, and then there was an online collection on Beyonce.com. So on that website, I purchased a shirt and a mask on August 6th. And those items were back ordered and there were like shipping delays so my item didn't ship until november 3rd so august 6th to november 3rd so whenever the stuff came i didn't even know what it was because i forgot i had bought it <laughs> so basically um in august i bought this little mask and just says black is king on it because you know i figured you know what's going on outside right now so we can always choose some more mask so this is black is king really cute and i got a shirt that says brown skin girl on it and we know that is a song from the album and it was in, featured in the movie and I got that in a small and there were some few colors like different skin tone colors and it says brown skin girl and like the color like a nice complimentary like melanin tone so I got that in a small and yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it for the blackest king collection okay so the part you've all been waiting for the ivy park drip 2 was announced by Beyonce on her Instagram on October 19th and it was set to release October 30th. So she gave us a little bit of time to get our coins together. Um, I was able to get an email. I got an email from Adidas for early access. So I purchased the first two items um, that I'm gonna show you all on October 29th at noon. And I'm very, you know, thank you for favor. <laughs> because luckily it was like a smooth checkout process. And I heard that the next day everything sold out like instantly. But on the 29th, when you got the early access, I was able to, you know, take my time, look through the whole, you know, pricing list, all the items, and just see what I wanted, put it in my cart, save my credit card info, have it ready to go. So whenever the countdown, you know, got to zero, all you had to do was check out and nothing was sold out. I got everything I wanted. So yeah, it was perfect. Um, so with the Ivy Park Drip 2, there were five colors that we all, you know, we saw on Instagram. I can go ahead and put those up. It was the Honey Drip, Degrassi, Azure Drip, Coral Reef, I believe it is, and then what was the other one? Canary. So just knowing like my skin complexion and knowing what I think would look good on me, I didn't want to get the Honey Drip because I already have a lot of clothes that are that color. So I was like, let me, you know, get something, let me try and get something different. Um, and people were saying that it looked like kind of spring tiny collection, which is true, even though it is like October, November right now. So narrowing it down, the canary was like that bright neon. I was like, oh no, I don't look like a highlighter with that. That's not for me. The coral, it's another color. I was like, mm-mm. So that left the Azure Drip and the Degrassi. So the Azure Drip was like the main one that I was like, I need to have that because it looks so good. And there's an outfit that Beyonce had on and I said, I'm gonna buy that entire outfit because you can kind of tell what's gonna look good with your body type. And I knew that that outfit, I'm gonna put a picture of it. I was like, I need to get that exact outfit top to bottom. Cause I, I, that's like my, you know, my whole vibe, just a nice chill joggers and a bodysuit. So I was like, I'm gonna get that whole outfit. And then I got, on the 29th, I ended up just getting the jogger in the bodysuit in the Azure Drip color like I wanted because I was like, I need to have that. And for the next day, actually on November, um, October 30th, I was just like, let me see, you know, if there's anything left over, you know, even though I shouldn't have done that. Um, I went on Foot Locker and there was actually some stuff still there. And I ended up getting a one of the gender neutral um, t-shirts in the Degrassi, in the dark green. And that was um, gender neutral. So that went from a 3XS to a 3XL or 4XL, I can't remember. But I ended up getting it in an extra small because I figured I'm usually a small in women's. So I just went down a size since it was a unisex top. And the jogger, I forgot to mention, was also gender neutral. So I got an extra small on that as well, just to be on the safe side because I would hate to you know, buy a super high hyped item just to have it come and not fit me. So I ordered down and I'm happy I did. I really 
love these joggers. They're so comfortable. I'm happy I got them in the size I did because if I went a size up, they would have like swallowed me whole. And if I would have went a size down, I think they probably would have been too short on my legs because my legs are on the longer side. And I think they probably would look like high waters on me because even with the extra small, it does, I can like kind of see it, you know, getting near my ankles <laughs> and we don't want that for joggers so i'm happy i got extra small but just being um keep that in mind and that was another thing i loved about having the early access was that i was able to you know have the time to measure myself for the gender neutral clothes because i didn't want to just guess and just grab something so with that early access it really came in handy i was able to get a little measuring tape and kind of you know measure my bust measure my hips and just compare it to the gender neutral sizing chart on adidas.com. So that way when it was time to check out, I knew what I was getting was gonna fit me. And um, for the Foot Locker for the Degrassi Drip Dark Green shirt, I just kind of kept the same thing in mind. Since the shirt looked big on the models already, I was like, let me just size down because it looks like it's meant to be like an oversized t-shirt and I don't want it to look like a, you know, a dress on me. So like I said, I got that in extra small as well. So at first when the collection came out, I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the Azure Drip and you know, not go too crazy. But then I started looking at the um, Degrassi. I said, that's actually a nice green, like a nice, like, I have a whole bunch of olive green, of course, but I didn't have any like, you know, dark forest green really in my closet. I said, well, hey, if Beyonce's offering, I'ma take it, okay? <laughs> And then that shirt also fit really well on me. I'm happy I got extra small, casual, cute things. Like that was what I was going for. That was what I was searching for. And I was like, anything that's casual, cute, add it to cart. So I'm really happy with these purchases I got. And then, yeah. And then as of um, the time when I filmed this, Beyonce has already released her um, Ivy Park Drip 2.2, which is uh, titled The Black Pack. And I've already purchased some stuff from that, so there will be another video from that collection. I believe I have got five things. So I got a nice mix of tops and bottoms. So I got more than I got from Drip2. So pray for my credit card, y'all. Hashtag pray for my credit card. <laughs> because I saw the all, it's like basically all the same items in the um, Drip2, the first um, collection, just all in black. So yeah, stay tuned for that um, Drip 2.2 video that'll be coming soon. And hopefully Beyonce doesn't do a 2.3 because I need to get my coins together because I cannot control myself when she keeps dropping all these clothes on me. <laughs> and I keep going back because I'm gonna go back every time. But yeah, so you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what item you like the best. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will definitely see you in the next one. Peace.